This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Current Number beautiful bosses over at patreon.com slash modern rogue you guys are making miracles happen look not only do you make warehouses occur but you guys keep us loud live and independent look at this we have actual construction at modern rogue world headquarters there's a studio that's going to be a studio we have cabinets back here you guys are making cabinets happen thank you thank you thank you thank you if you guys want to join the team patreon.com slash modern rogue what about a gun that you aim it at someone it instantly figures out what their phone number is and texts them insults, just uh, contextualize insults. So it's like the camera figures out what they're wearing, identifies where it comes from, uh, uh, auto generates a bunch of insults uh, and, and just uh, crushes their soul. That'd be an amazing weapon. This doesn't get out. That's okay. <laughs> we have to go into R&D right now. <laughs> We're continuing to work our way through all the articles that are over at themodernrogue.com. This one was written by Polly Poiso, I think I'm saying that right, but it's five awesome, badass, insane, homegrown weapons. All right, so the first one is from Jay Laser Video, and he does something that I have wanted since I was probably in fifth grade. Yeah, dude, flaming sword, A right? flaming sword. Okay, now here's the thing. I would have expected a flaming sword, and there are certainly performers that uh, you, you put a big wick on a sword, okay. you soak it with fuel, you light it, and you got a flaming sword. Okay. But he goes above and beyond because his uh, sword, it's shooting a jet of flame at yeah. all times. He's got some uh, butane canisters uh, right by the handle. And so it's really not that the sword is flaming, but there are flames shooting out on either side of I mean, the blade. Look, when it's in your chest, you're not going to be arguing that point. <laughs> you're like, you're yeah. like, you're like ah, oh, I'm dying. I really thought this was on fire itself, but well, that's pretty ingenious <laughs> what you did there. Also, you're cauterizing the wounds as they're happening. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this, this one's first on the leaderboard. Uh, we have an entrance. Good I, job. I Cur like current it. champion. Current champion. Here's something, I don't know if you remember, but this is something that you kind of wanted to do a long time ago. What, oh, oh yes. You're talking about like, I wanted to do a magic thing with a Tesla gun live on stage. We were sitting out on your back deck and uh, there may have been alcohol involved. Maybe. And you were pitching me this idea that I told you was completely insane. And you were still just, no, no, I think, I think this is, so I'm still waiting for you to do it. it this is pre-YouTube. You know, this is pre-YouTube. Yeah, yeah, no, but. You know what I'm talking uh, about? Yeah, you're talking about the way I had envisioned it was wearing a backpack and basically having a repulsor race. This is before Iron Man even came out in movie theaters. But basically, I wanted to walk out and have a, a Tesla arc come out of my hand and I was gonna take like a pumpkin or something and cover it in uh, camp fuel yeah. so that I would blast and the lightning would trigger the fuel. Boom. And, and, and cause it to burst into flames. Yeah, it was an awesome idea, but you're telling me, he's like, how hard could it be? This is what you were saying. How hard could it be? And I'm thinking, hard. pretty hard. <laughs> Real hard. So we had this video from Smarter Every Day where they built a freaking Tesla gun. We have to adjust the leaderboard. Okay. Fire sword versus Tesla gun. I don't know. I mean, how, how deadly, how effective is the Tesla gun? It depends on what you set it to, I would imagine, but it seems like it's got a short range and it, it seems like it's uh, twitchy and that goes unpredictable. Batteries, like nobody's business. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the fire sword for the simplicity. I'm gonna say fire sword is still number one. Yeah, the Tesla gun, very showy. The fire sword also showy, but I think the fire sword is uh, effective. Also in the video, you know, they're touching the Tesla lightning bolt, so, so it's not, not exactly the most impressive. It's a tickle cannon. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> tickle cannon? That was a Tesla's lost work, was That's the tickle cannon. cannon. So this one is built by Jörg Spray. Uh, which is a, a great name. I believe right I'm saying it right. I hope you are. Yeah. Because otherwise he's got a fully automatic crossbow and it's gonna give, yeah. come get you. Yeah, he is the impresario of projectile weapons on YouTube and he took a drill and did this badass device that I can't even look at it and reckon how it works. Oh, no, no, I, I think that's what I love about it is I totally can reckon how it works. You have the magazine that's gravity fueled. The drill turns a sprocket that, that, that loads everything, fires it, and, and cues up the next one. We crashed it, bam! It's automatic. I mean, <laughs> I, I love everything about it, uh, from the backyard aesthetic to the functionality of it. And it's so elegant. Speed. It's great, and apparently, you're holding the handle in one hand, and you have your other hand pulling a trigger, but he says, as counterintuitive as that looks, it feels totally natural. To me, this one is the new leader, new champion. Get bent, fire sword, because oh, okay. I, I'm rating on, on novelty and effectiveness, and which I would love to have in a fight. Uh, everything about this is a clear winner to me. 
we're gonna say the words and it's gonna sound great and then every word we say after it will be less great. <laughs> handheld a, Gatling gun. A homemade handheld Gatling gun. Sounds great. In theory, real good, right? This video is hot nonsense. It's and, wonderful. And, and on top of that, it, it's in French, which doesn't help me understand it, but you would think at some point I would comprehend what this thing does at all. It's nonsense. It's some French kid who built a a handheld Gatling gun? Yeah. But it's really more like a six cylinder It just looks like a, a six gun. shooter revolver, right? Yeah, yeah. And he says to the camera a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he distills badassness? He did distill badassness, <laughs> which I want to know more about that and how it factored into the making of the gun. Boom! <laughs> And as far as effectiveness, he was shooting a paper target, but he had a lot of flair. Sure. He had a lot of spirit. Okay, look, it's not taken number one. Number one still has to be the automatic crossbow. Number two, still flaming sword. Flaming He's sword. nowhere near flaming sword. Agree. Is it better than the Tesla gun? I'm gonna go with, hmm, let me think about this one. Hell no, it's not. It's uh, at the bottom. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, we'll, we'll take the Batman uh, high road on this. Like, like no guns. Dude, this one's a big sideways turn. A freaking laser bazooka. Yeah, there's some legit science going on here. Not even science adjacency, like legit science. It is phenomenal. So, okay, basically it's just, a, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's extraordinarily powerful laser. But as you watch, I mean, it takes a little bit of time to catch cardboard on fire. I guess it pops balloons. Yeah. Uh, certainly you could blind everybody. Like, like just oh, immediately. The, the moment you look at it at all, is like, I think you said like 33 million times more Worse than, than looking into the sun. Yeah. yeah. For that, super effective, right? Because an enemy that can't fight can't see. Yeah. Wait, uh, nope, yep. nope. It's true. If you can't fight, you're blind. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so how do how do we adjust our rankings? Ahead of the Gatlin gun, for sure. Uh, definitely ahead of the Gatlin gun. Uh, I. So you still is it ahead of the Tesla coil? I think it's ahead of the Tesla coil as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it is because he was popping balloons. It has the ability to blind people instantly. I guess it's got to go ahead of the flaming sword. Right? Which, yes. which, which would you rather have? I mean, flaming sword. I think it's ahead of the flaming sword as well. But but you can cut a head off with the flaming sword, but but you you'll be blind before you get there. Yeah. Like you're exactly. running up and you're like, ah, there's nothing. I'm giving him points for the ingenuity. I, I think I want to take away points because it's like just it's just a real power cranked up laser. Whereas the ingenuity, with 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 the sprockets and the drill and all that. Okay, that was really clever too. I think there are two different yeah, types but I of feel mechanical like aptitude. This one definitely is the most Tony Stark. It is the most Tony Stark, though. I'm going to stick to my fully automatic crossbow. Okay. You can have a laser bazooka. I'm going to stick with a laser bazooka. Okay. And I will uh, have to duct tape my eyes <laughs> and, <laughs> and fight blind. Spray and pray. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hope I got Jason. <laughs> and it's like, I, I don't see anything. I just, I'm like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm dancing around. This is a battle I want to see. I think we need to contact both of them and have a showdown. Done. Done and done. We just try to kill each other with each weapon. <laughs> For our million subscriber. Oh, geez. Don't, no, don't make that promise. <laughs> I predict that they're all going to say the Tesla gun should be higher, although I don't see why. Yeah, well, because it's got Tesla in it, and the internet loves Tesla. Internet's got the biggest boner for Tesla. Dude was legitimately insane. He, he was, he was wacky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but... Come at me, internet. That's right. I hate Tesla. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Edison.